Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details. A while back, you might remember, I got the opportunity to tour Stoner Car Care. They're here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and they opened their doors for me to be able to see how they develop their products and get to know them a little bit better. Well, they're here at the Creator Summit for Car Supplies Warehouse, and I didn't want to miss this opportunity to do a video with my local detailing friends. And so we actually went outside. We wanted to test some of their products in direct sunlight. So say hi, Rich and Skylar. They're going to show us how to clean and coat glass in direct sunlight. So first we need to go ahead and clean the inside glass because obviously you can clean the outside, but if the inside is streaky, it's not going to really make a big difference. So we have the reach and clean tool. We have their new and improved microfibers. And then we have, as always, the invisible glass. Best stuff on the market. It's best to do this from the passenger side. The new design features a waffle weave towel, easier installation of the towel, and you can use both sides. Pay attention as Rich shows us the proper way to use their products. Notice how little product he uses to actually clean the glass. That's all you need? That's all you need. Well, I've been doing that all wrong. He's also doing it from the passenger side of the vehicle, so that way he has easy access to the entire windshield, plus he doesn't have to deal with the steering column in his way. So you want it to be as dry as possible? You want to be as dry as possible. So if it's wet, you're not going to be picking up as much moisture off the windshield. And you don't need to saturate it with cleaner. Nope, you don't need to be. Because anything you put on, you got to pull off. Okay. So if you put more glass cleaner on the windshield, it's more glass cleaner you got to take off. So you just want to get it wet, draw a line there. You want to put the flat spot towards the bottom, drive that down the windshield. Now the big key to this, where a lot of misconceptions are, you want to get your arm to be kind of like matching the angle of the windshield because that's going to be like less. The farther away you come from the windshield, the more friction you're going to have and more pressure, so it's harder to move it. Mm -hmm. The higher up you go and you match the windshield, it glides a lot smoother. Good. So, inside, check. Let's check. go ahead and get the outside done now. So, we got a lot of dirt, a lot of water spots and just a lot of nasty, gross bug splatter. So first, we need to get it clean. We're gonna use invisible glass again. If you wanna rub it against the paint, you use reach and clean to kind of get that extra distance on it. So this one, I'm gonna use a little bit more moisture and a little more uh, glass mm -hmm. because of the heavy contaminants on there. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Ideally, you can also wash this with soap and water and then do it once you've dried the vehicle off. But because we don't have a hose, we're going to clean with a glass cleaner. There are so many gross bugs on that. So for this case, we need a little more pressure. You just pull this away from the windshield. Get more pressure. You can scrub a lot better. Nope. glass stripper is going to prep before we apply the coating. So within the glass stripper, we have our glass stripper product. And then we also have our scrubby pad. Is that the official term for it? I believe applicators is the one we normally go with, but I like scrubby pad. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need a lot of this stuff, but it works amazingly good at removing like severe water spots and just giving you a completely stripped and prepped panel. I think this is the most important step to the glass coating. Yeah, prep goes a long way. So if you're not having a prep windshield and having a great service for it to bond to, then um, you're just not gonna get the same durability or the results out of the product. You just like to spread it a little bit around and then... Miyagi's hot. Yeah. Yep, there's an old coating on there, but it wore off. Happy trees. Moisten it up. So if it starts drying out, just kind of rewet it with a little water. Yeah. And you can just keep scrubby scrubby. That's right. Ideally, you'd have like a hose or something here just to rinse this off. Okay. Um, but we don't, so we're going to use a microfiber and some water. But I just want to get a couple more spots up here. Yep. I can tell that the 
hoodie is still inside. Now, how far up do you need to go? Like all the way around? As much as you want to uh, have a great application of it. So if we're trying to, yeah, I'm a little OCD, so I like to have every square inch of it covered. Yep. But. So while Rich finishes this up, Skylar's going to get started on the other side. I like your technique, Skylar. So once you're done using the glass stripper, come in with either an extremely wet towel or a hose and remove all of the residue. You can even follow up afterwards with invisible glass again, just to make sure you got all of that glass stripper off. Here, Rich is doing a quick hydrophobic test to make sure we removed all of the previous protection on the glass. Glad it's all get out. That's where it still obviously has a coating over there. So this side, we haven't done the glass stripper. This side, we have. You can see it did a great job removing whatever previous protection was on there. We got all the bugs, the water spots. So now we'll go ahead and get this dried, finish up doing the glass stripper on this side get this wiped off, and then we're ready to apply our glass coating. So Rich and his super long arms finished up the other side, and now it's time to remove all of the residue. Yum. But it works. We got it off quick. You need longer arms, Rich. Yeah, I'm working on that. Skylar, hop in there. <laughs> <laughs> I did a TikTok once. And I did the breach clay tool on the outside window, and everybody's like, You have T Rex arms. <laughs> and I was like, All right. Stop it! <laughs> I have feelings too. I have a big head, really big arms. <laughs> I was like, You are ruthless. <laughs> if you can't tell, I really enjoy hanging out with these guys. So now we got all of the water spots, bugs, and any previous protection gone. Our glass is cleaned and ready to apply. Our ceramic glass coating. So within your beautifully packaged ceramic glass coating that is going to include a towel for removal as well as some gloves, your bottle of glass ceramic coating, and an applicator pad. Let's glove up and apply the coating. Because we're working in direct sunlight and the glass is pretty hot already, Rich is going to divide the windshield into quarters. This will ensure even application of the process. You're not having product dry up on your applicator and also it will give you a workable flash time. When you see the product rainbowing, it's ready to level and because we're outdoors, it's going to flash pretty quickly. We're going to use two towels, but we're only going to use one right now. Rich is going to just basically come in and level off the transfer solution. He'll come in after he does the second section with the second towel to do a final wipe. Now you can repeat that process on the lower half of the windshield and you'll notice that Rich will kind of draw one solid line to pull product from and then evenly disperse it to the rest of the windshield. And that's where he'll do the typical crosshatch pattern up and down and side to side. So again, he'll level the coating removing all of that transfer solution. And then once he's done here, he'll take that second towel finally and wipe the entire half of the windshield. So that way he has a beautiful streak-free end result. If you've ever worked with glass coatings in the past or even products like Rain-X, normally there's a lot of streaking left behind afterwards. What I love most about this product is that your glass is literally invisible afterwards. When I've applied this to customers' cars, they keep touching the glass because it feels like there's no glass there. There is not a single streak on that glass. Stripper on the applicator pad, and we just did little circles just to prep to get all the um, glass is porous, so we get all the, the debris and the dirt out of those pores and get like the best surface for this to bond to, and then you just going through and applying it. So I cut the, half, the second half with the first half. So now that we had a crowd of people that were interested in this product, Rich continued to apply this to the other half of the windshield while explaining what he was doing. And then we brought the vehicle owner out to show her the end result. And as you can see, you can get multiple applications out of one bottle. This is just for one windshield, so you could easily get four to five vehicles out of one bottle. I can't really tell with my reflection. I don't see any. Looks great. I can tell you're 
Hey. How's it look? Now you can see all my rock chips. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, now I can see all my rock chips. Yeah. <laughs> they they can't fix everything. We're, we're highway drivers here, so <laughs> kind of sucks. So why are you doing that? So a lot of people think they're wear their wipers out pretty quick, but actually there'll be like little pieces of dirt that actually stick to the rubber of that squeegee. So if you ever had like a squeegee and you're going across the window with it and it has like a hair or something on it, you'll notice it leaves a little line behind. Uh -huh. So a lot of people prematurely replace their wipers thinking that they're bad. And there's actually just a piece of dirt or something stuck to the edge of the wiper. We had a lot of dirt contaminants. You can kind of see it still on the roof here. I just want to make sure that we weren't introducing any of that dirt onto the top of the ceramic coating when we're doing it. So I'm just going the extra step here. <laughs> I looked a lot better too. I mean, yuck. Yeah. You'd be surprised how much better your wipers would work just after a quick wipe. If you enjoyed this content, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. But Lord, is it hot out. You got that done in like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, outside good. with no and hose the sun and we did the outside and the inside yeah, too. yeah. That's if it was yeah. inside we could do the whole windshield in one go we wouldn't have to yeah. do the four quadrants so. yeah so thank you guys thanks guys what do I, oh yeah. you know what i'll take you out to dinner you know what? Really thanks nice. amy for letting us work on your car and stay tuned because the guys from stoner car care actually came to my house recently and we got to film some content together so for those of you that might be interested in checking out a new product from Stoner Car Care, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that content. It will be dropping very soon. But thank you guys again. We'll see you guys in the very next detail.